everybody, welcome to the Gypsy Food Network. Tonight we're going to make a cherry turnover, like an apple turnover, and we're using phyllo dough. We have our can of cherries, I already opened them, put them inside of the bowl. We have our butter melted, two sticks. We also have our sugar, because I don't like the cherries in the can, because they're usually too tart. For me anyway, so I'm going to add some sugar to them. I have my leftover phyllo dough, so these are not really layers, but whatever I had left out of making the other stuff, and I want to use it up, so this is why we're going to layer it. Same thing like we did with the walnut one, but we're going to put the cherries in the center. Okay, and we're going to be, uh, bake it at 350, anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes, but we're going to keep checking on it so we don't see that it burns or not. So, we're going to get started. I already got this out of my way. Got that out of my way, and we're going to butter our pan, and as soon as I get uh, everything set up here, we'll be right back. Hey guys, we're back. I got done finished uh, putting all of my layers on the bottom here, and like I said, the same thing like the one at the one, but I am going to put sugar here on the bottom here for the uh, pie, because like I said, it's, for some reason for me, the pie filling always tastes too tart, okay? And we're doing cherry tonight. And we're just going to put it in there. And we're just going to smooth it all out. And instead of making a regular pie, this is uh, the, the, like the, what do you call that, apple turnover, except it's going to be cherry. Okay? And we're going to smooth it out. And we're just going to put it all over here. Try to even out your little cherries here. And that's all you do to that because it's already the filling. And the filling already has everything in it. And like I said, I'm just going to put a little bit more sugar in here. On the top. Like so. so I'm going to spill a little bit of the butter. Because when you're making a pie, you usually pour the butter on it. And then I'm going to start to layer my top. And then we'll be back and I'll show you guys what else we're doing with it. Okay guys, we're back. I've done all my layers. Uh, like I said, just like we've done with the walnut. And we're going to do the same thing. Is What we're going to do is we're going to cut it. So that the layers can start to pop out. And don't worry about it not looking like it's cut. Because it will be. And the layers will open up. And we're just going to cut it like that in three. And then I'm going to pop it in the oven. And then when it's done, we'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like out of the oven. As soon as it uh, cools completely down, I'm going to put on the icing. And then we're going to go ahead and leave it cool complete. Uh, put it in the refrigerator. That's how you like to eat uh, cherry pie. So we're going to have this uh, ice cold too. So, uh, we'll get back to you guys. Hey guys, I'm back. It's all cooled down. And what I'm going to do now is I had a half a cup of um, powdered sugar and I added four capfuls of milk, which is off the jug of uh, one gallon. And uh, only four capfuls, so you guys know. And what we're going to do is just we're just going to go ahead and stream it through. And just in a thin layer, just go over it. And it doesn't matter what kind of design you make. But we're going to do this. And the thinner the, um, the stream, the better it is. And then as soon as it cools, I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. Then we're going to go ahead and cut some out. But that's the way it looks, guys. And it should be just like a uh, cherry strudel, but it's uh, really going to uh, set up real nice, and then we'll be back and cut out a slice. Cool down, and I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this segment, and like I said, you can put just about anything you guys want in the field though, and maybe this can uh, kind of help you guys out making a different kind of dessert. For you guys, is a uh, Thanksgiving table or Christmas table or just entertaining guests. 
So I want to say God bless to all of the subscribers and friends. And uh, thank you guys all for stopping in. And also the people who are...